Hello and welcome to Sri Lanka's number one sports hub, thepopular.com. We are live from the Sukhadasa Stadium here in Colombo for a very big day in week 13 of the Dialogue Champions League 2018. Three back-to-back -back matches starting from 4 p.m. The first match will be between Ratnam SC and Pelicans SC. Big game, especially for Pelicans who are in the relegation battle. While Ratnam has an outside chance for the championship, but they need to win. And need to win big here today. The 6 p.m. kickoff will be between Renown SC and the Super Sun, while the 8 p.m. will be Red Stars FC versus Air Force. It's a home game for Red Stars, which was shifted from the Vernon Fernandez Stadium in Kalutara to the Sugudidasa Stadium due to unavoidable circumstances, a last minute fixture change. But we will be bringing you all three matches here today, live and exclusive on Sri Lanka's number one sports app, thepapra.com. We'll go into a quick commercial break and when we come back, we'll have the live action from Ratnam versus Pelicans. Read up what single in www.thepapare.com web adviyat pif sila singhala bahasha wa thora gan Cricket, Rugby, Papandu, Volleyball, Malala Krida, Pasipandu with Raknimi, Venak Krida Saha Visheshangali Pivna, the Papare Singhal Tulin. Ay ape video pitu, Krida Vaha Sambanda, the Hasukutaka video, Samukasa Kacha, Eva Gama SDC, Rugby Pitya, Pitya Kata, Sports Masala Vagi, Satipata Jana Pri Visheshangan Arban, Obe Pariganaki, Tabdeke, Ematakam smartphone in Labagan, but a lazy in Mapula, the Papare Singhal, Krida Bua digitally currently. Mother Kotavila Gumpia Savila Sipadasa at Moratua, Yagama Mahinda Rajpa, Kidanga, Hilakuma Sukadasa, Indo Stadium is uh, the Fox Hill Supercross. Krunagala City, Atugal Purava, Papa to Mapia, they will need Orelia Pedesh. Final showdown, Candy Sports Club, Pernaru, Jatik Sankarne City.
நேரடி ஒளிபரப்பும் யாழ்ப்பாணத்தில் மாத்திர கொட்டவில் இல்லை கம்பிய சட்டம் இல்லை பிரதேச <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Sri Lanka's number one sports hub, the Popperi.com. For the live and exclusive coverage of the Dialogue Champions League 2018 Week 13 match between Ratnam SC and Pelicans SC. Ratnam in their all white and Pelicans in their traditional green. A big contest especially for Pelicans as I mentioned earlier. They are in the relegation battle. Six teams are on 11 points. And the bottom of the group is Nigambi Youth FC with six points. So Nigambi Youth all but relegated to Premier League Division 1 for the year 2019. the two captains sachin the madurangana and uh, henry apia for pelicans as i'm joining the commentary box by ashwin das ashwin three back to back matches here today and the first one again uh, one of the three big matches uh, especially for pelicans Yes indeed now welcome to all our viewers as well as you join in with the papara.com's live and exclusive coverage of the Dialogue Champions League 2018 let me first take you through the lineups for today home team Ratnam FC Fazreen Metehan Nuskan Mohammad Musharraf Sachmita Maduranga back in the lineup Sasanka Dilhara Aman Faiza Mohammad Abdel Pradeep Mohammad Akil and Periya Sami Sitarakuma whereas for pelicans it's uh, natrils in goal anil shanta sulakshan henry apia ekanayaka sirisena karuna singha farhad sapri godfrey and late who start for the team from kurunegala who are in desperate need of some points i think they'll be happy to take a point away from this fixture especially given the situation at the bottom of the table a lot of congestion in the relegation zone is pelicans and their team huddle they need a big performance here their squad appears to be rather threadbare only one player on the bench today for them 
in their trip to Colombo. Given the recent form, Ratnam will be favourites to come away with all three points here today. They too are in with a chance for the championship up top. But they need to win all their matches and hope that uh, some of the matches, some of the results of Columbia FC, Navy Seahawks, Defenders, Blue Star and even uh, Renown go their way. Yes, now about it. To me, it sounds a lot more like a mathematical probability rather than uh, an actual possibility, especially given the form of some of the teams at the top of the table. They'll uh, need nothing short of a miracle if they are to pick up the championship. Having said that, as a team that just got promoted to the Champions League, it's been a great showing from them this season. They've shown they can play with the big boys. Just a couple of weeks ago against Blue Star, they put up a very good show here. Probably should have won all three points, had to settle for a point. And today they'll come in as favourites against the Pelicans team that are struggling. Pelicans first touches inside the Ratnam box. Pradeep gets it to Maduranga who puts it out of play. Yes, indeed. Ratnam, with all their history, were unfortunately demoted to Division 3 back in 2014. After being uh, bankrupt. But they've done well, especially Fazul Rahman, their coach, the brother of Muhammad Am Amanullah. Back to back promotions for them and another team that has uh, really prospered after being promoted to the Champions League is Red Stars. They will be playing in the 8 p.m. kickoff against Air Force. Red Stars two almost on same points as Ratnam. They've done well. They defeated defenders who are up in uh, second place in the points table. Up in uh, Kalutara, they defeated them 5 nil. A very big win for Red Stars. They are coached by former Columbia FC and Blue Star man who has won quite a few Champions Leagues as well. Mom Ramis as Sitra Kumar tries a through ball not having much power on it again Aman Faisal looking for options the defense needs to be firm but once again they give away position in the attack in third referee waves play on there seems to have been a foul on Sitra Kumar He's back on his feet to continue. Renown building some, Ratnam, my bigger pardon, building some pressure at the edge of the Pelicans box. Here's their chief grade Abdel on the ball. Metehan trying to go across field. Henry Apia has it under control. Attempted through ball from Godfred. Cut out. Such with the Madurango over the top. Just too much on that for Sidhir Kumar to chase down. Aman Pfizer in possession. He has men in support. Crucial intervention by Henry Apia. The deflection allowing Nathriels to gather comfortably. And uh, it's a nasty collision of heads between Sitra Kumar and that Pelicans player. Luckily, both of them okay to continue. It's Karuna Singha was the player 
affected. Godfred goes down. Referee allows play to continue. Cries of simulation. See as Aman Pfizer. Now it's Abdel. Puts the ball out to touch. So that Godfred can get some medical attention. Renown played in towards Akil. Apea once again, crucial intervention to prevent Sitar Kumar from getting to the ball. Corner kick which Sasanka Dilhara will take into a dangerous area. Ikanayaka. He's got it only as far as Abdul. Aman Pfizer. Opportunity for Sasanka Dilhara. Shot is blocked. Musharraf. Dilhara. Ball in towards Aman Pfizer. Cleared away by Sapri. Corner kick. The second of the game for Ratnam. able to get clean contact on that header. Here's Latte. Metehan once again showing why he's been one of Ratnam's standout players in defence. Getting the ball ahead of Latte. Tirukuma uh, interplaying with Sasanka Dilhara. His cross into Henry Apia. As Pelicans struggling to clear their lines, here's Aman Pfizer. His cross is blocked for. I thought it was going out for a throw in, but it stayed in. Pelicans have a goal kick to try and relieve some of the pressure that he's building just outside their 18 yard box. Foul on Sapri. Pradeep, the guilty man. Godfrey with the early shot. First of the game. Wide of the target, but certainly a sign of positive intent. Once again, here's uh, Godfred, hounded by Metahan and Abdel. Ekanayaka, very good cross in. He's offside off the bar. Good 
by Subikaran on that occasion, but unfortunately, Godfrey was offside. Henry Apia. Exit wide to Sudarshana. Let's put it out of play. Ratnam once again on the ball. Metahan. The greatest of passes picked off by Sobhikaran, who can't keep it in play after winning the ball back initially. Foul called on Sitra Kumar once again. Wants that one taken again. Is Ekanayaka. Nice ball to release. Uh, swinger, but it's well blocked by Maduranga. Corner kick for Pelicans. They are first of the game. Be Sapri to deliver the corner kick. Taken shot. As uh, it's worked well into a dangerous area and just wide from Godfred. Wonderful, wonderfully worked corner kick by Pelicans. But unfortunately, it was just the final touch that was missing from. Their key midfielder, Kobina Godfred. As Ratnam survived a close scare on that occasion. You won't get a better opportunity than that. And uh, surprising news coming from the Kalania football complex. Between the bottom of the table, Nigamba Youth FC against title chasing defenders. Defenders are in third place. Just uh, three points behind Columbus FC, who won 3 2 yesterday against uh, New Youngs. Now up in Kalania. Gambi Youth are up 2 0 against defenders. Surprising scoreline. And uh, when you look at uh, the only win for Nigamba Youth, which came against Columbia FC, that too was a 2-0 win. I think uh, they fancy their chances against uh, the top of the table clubs, isn't it, Ashwin? Dangerous way to play our football, certainly. But at the moment, they seem to be doing a good job against defenders. Meanwhile, here at the Sugudasa, Kavina Godfred has gone off. Looks to be just a temporary problem for the Pelicans midfielder. As that result at the Kalania football complex surely could have a big impact on what happens in this game to the Pelicans. As Kanayaka recovers well to put the ball out for another corner kick. Ratnam has had the majority of position, but not the efforts on target should to show for. Whereas Pelicans, who has had limited position, has had the best chance, which fell to 
Kobina Godfred. His volley just going past the upright. Pelicans is another throw. Kanaika passes it back to Henry Apaya. Here's Sulakshan. Trying to pick out the run of Latte. Unable to do so. Here's Pradeep. Ball nicked off him by Godfred. Ratnam throw which Musharraf will take. Sitara Kumar unable to turn. It's been closely marked. By Karuna Singhan. The right. Sasanka Dilhara gets past one, gets past two. Tries to pick out Pradeep. Unable to do so. Abdel goes for the spectacular. But doesn't connect well enough. Crowd slowly but surely building up here at the Sukhidasa Stadium. We'll be having the renowned versus Super Sun encounter at 6 pm. Well, at 8 pm, it will be the Red Stars FC versus Air Force SC. Both those two matches will be shown live and exclusive on Sri Lanka's number one sports hub, thepapre.com. We are expecting big crowds for the second two games at Skuddasa. Once again, an intervention from Godfred prevents Sitra Kumar from getting to the ball. Here's Aman Pfizer. Lovely ball for Sasanga Dilhara. Ratnam have men coming forward and it's into a good area. Just about Cleared away. Pradeep will pick up the pieces. Here's Sachmita Maduranga. Latte. Pelicans are working the ball well. And they are moving on the counters. On that occasion, a rare mistake. Allows Nuskan to come across and clear the danger. Sapri. It's a poor pass. Only going out for a goal kick. Ratnam have enjoyed more possession up to this point. However, the best goal scoring opportunity fell to the Pelicans. Kobina Godfred sending his effort wide of the near post. When he probably should have got it on target, he didn't have much time to compose himself. Here's Abdel. It's on a surging run, but Henry Apia. It's a crucial intervention. And 
Abdel then fouls the Pelicans captain. Pelicans free kick uh, played in deep. Metahan gets the first touch. As Ratnam clear. Sasanga Dilhara to Pradeep. Support coming forward, but a poor pass uh, is intercepted by Ekanayaka. And he has an opportunity. Metahan with the block. Kobina Godfred. The Maduranga with a big intervention and his long ball over the top for Sidhar Kumar to chase. It's calmly dealt with by Henry Apia. Yes, Sapri. He's made a mistake here. Mohamed Akil now in possession for Ratnam and he's shot well saved by Natrils. Still in play though as uh, Musharraf now works it to Sasanga Dilhara. Abdel, Aman Pfizer from range, straight to the keeper though. Nathriels gathers gratefully. Too eager to work the ball forward. On that occasion, Pelicans conceding possession cheaply. And as we approach the quarter way mark of this match, I'm sure Pelicans would be reasonably happy with the way things have started for them. Pelicans dilly dallying on the ball in dangerous area. This time they are lucky to get away with a goal kick. Once again, Pelicans playing with fire. This time it's Sulakshan who's been trapped in. Well worked away though by Anil Shanta. Yes, Shobhikaran. Lovely interplay, Emmanuel Latte. Tugs his defender back. It's a free kick for. Ratnam and just a reminder to all our viewers you can follow us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter follow the Papra.com Sri Lanka's number one sports hub for all the latest sports news match reports live and uh, news on the latest updates on sports around the world and in Sri Lanka Twenty five minutes gone. It has been a lively first half. Ratnam have been a 
making a few shots on target. Farhat is on a free kick in a dangerous area for Pelicans. They can threaten Fazreen in the Ratnam goal if the delivery is good. It will fall upon Sapri to deliver. Delivery is excellent and it's headed wide by Henry Apia who was arriving late at the far post. However, the linesman also had his flag raised. That's a great delivery by Sapri. Sitar Kumar. Tries to play in Aman Pfizer. Pelicans once again sloppy at the edge of their box. Not clearing the danger the first time. And when looks like it's going to be an early substitution for Ratnam with Pradeep. Set to come off. I'm not sure whether this is uh, enforced by injury because uh, he appears to be moving all right. I can only imagine it being a tactical one as Pelicans once again just unable to make inroads. for handball by the Pelican bench waved away and the through ball from Aman Pfizer too much for Siddhra Kumar to chase down Handball by Omar Akil. We'll see. Ratna make that substitution. Nimanta Madushan. The St. Joseph's player will come on. I think uh, what went against Pradeep Rodrigo, the former Navy man, is that uh, he's, a, he's a striker when he played for Navy and playing in midfield, an uncomfortable position for him, virtually anonymous throughout this 29 minutes. He has uh, Godfred. Who is uh, on site? I beg your pardon, it's Emmanuel Latte. Who is on site? And the uh, Pelicans have uh, taken the lead against the run of play. Not a debate on whether Latte was offside or not, but. Men in the middle have decided that he was onside and Latte makes most of that opportunity. Pelicans take a surprise lead against Ratnam. Metahan to Abdel. Sachmita Maduranga. Here's the new man, Nimesh Madhushan. Bundled over by 
Sapri, who will go into the book. goal should make things uh, interesting Ratnavar on the ascendancy creating a few chances just before Manuel Latte scored that goal Abdel's uh, cross to the far post Will be uh, throwing. Tightly marked in the box by Henry Apia. Sanka Dilhara can't get his cross on target. Pelicans now will try to slow things down, surely. The Metehan's clearance is picked up by the goal scorer, Latte. Anil Shanta, that's a wonderful cross in to a great area. And uh, the rebound is eventually connected by Fazreen. We bowl it out to Sasanka Dilhara. Abdel. Nimanta Madhushan, Mohamed Akil is blocked well by Ekanayaka. Sachmita Maduranga. Fred goes down under that challenge from Madhushan. Mm. Pelican win a free kick just inside their half. Foul there on the Ratna players joined in the commentary box by Dinit Sena Ratna. Shock lead for Pelicans here today. There's uh, Nikamba Youth as well winning. It's what relegation pressure does to teams. Sometimes it brings out the best of them. I agree with you, Ashwin. That's exactly what we're seeing here this evening. Pelicans slightly outworking. The favourites going into the match, which were, which was Ratnam SC. They seem to be a little phased off by the first goal, which was argued by some as offside, but the refs saw it and they called it. As their verdict is final, it was settled as a goal. But Ratnam still on their feet, looking for retribution. We just have to hold on and see what Ratnam has to offer in this game. Just in it, Ratnam are not known for their goal scoring prowess. They are very good defensively. However, when it comes to scoring at the other end of the field, 
they do lack a bit of precision at times as Abdel is about to be the second player to go into the book for that foul on Godfred. <laughs> Taking out the Pelicans midfielder from behind. Frustration creeping into the Ratnam players. They have enjoyed possession for most of the game, but it's Pelicans that lead. And in the final third, Pelicans have looked as threatening as Ratnam have done throughout this game. Godfred earlier missing a gold, an opportunity to put Pelicans up 1-0. Could well have been 2-0 to the side from Kurunagala, if not for that miss. Pelicans taking a bit of time, settling in on their offensive game as uh, Ratnam sets up its walls. Looks like it's going to be Sapri to take this free kick. Surely going to be direct from this sort of range. Direct he goes, but couldn't direct that free kick goalwards. Is a harmless divide of Fazrin's goal. Sabri, however, was a force to be reckoned with, especially during the previous match they had with uh, Saunders, where the Pelicans scored three goals. Yes, Sidhir Kumar picks out Sasanka Dilhara. Goes down, wins the free kick. It's a very good dribbler. Ratnam trying to play the free kick early. But the referee not quite ready and asks Abdel to retake this one. Can he get his delivery right? Once again, it's to the far post as uh, it's set up for Aman Pfizer who can't quite direct his effort goalwards. Here's uh, Sasanka Dilhara takes on his man. Back to Mohamed Akil. It's, it's a free kick won by Mohamed Nuskan, who's in a very advanced position from where he's usually found the centre back the edge of the opposition box having gone up for the free kick was staying there and as a result he's won his team a free kick from an area where Ratnam can definitely cause problems to Nathriels in the Pelicans box Still unsure of the player that will be taking the free kick. It will be either Abdel. Uh, 
Mohamed Akil and Aman Faiz also over it and it's left for Aman Faiz. No, it's Sashmita Maduranga who scores a wonderful free kick. A goal from the skipper draws renowned level, draws Ratnam level I must say. And it was certainly a Welberg free kick for all money. I thought it would be Aman Faiza who would take that free kick. But it's a wonderfully taken goal by the Ratnam captain. And it's 1-1 one -one here at the Sugadas Stadium with five minutes to play till the half-time whistle. That was definitely a very smart play by the Ratnam skipper Ashwin. Outsmarting the other players. Creating a bit of hesitation definitely works in your favor in a game of this stature. And that's exactly what Ratnam nailed. Bringing the game to a tie. Pelicans on the offense this time. Intercepted by Ratnam. Sharaf to Sasanka Dilhara. Clips it down the line. Nimanda Madhushan can't get on the end of it. Bit of a spring in Ratnam step now. Can Pelicans once again just compose themselves till the half time break? Here's Godfred. Trying to play through Latte once again. This pass not quite accurate enough. Godfred releases Latte. Just can't quite pick out Anil Shanta. As Metahan comes away with the ball. Godfred. Good pressure by Mohamed Akil. Preventing the Pelicans midfielder from picking out a pass. Pills for handball against Madhushan. Is will be a free kick for Pelicans. I beg your pardon, flag was raised for offside against the Pelicans player. It will be Metahan taking the kick for Pelicans. Drew it quite upfield, not really intercepted by a teammate. So bigger and with a few quick passes, intercepted by Abdel. Great vision from Aman Faiza to pick out that forward movement from Sasanka Dilhara. It was only a last ditch interception by Surakshan that prevented him from being played through on goal as it's fallen here for Mohamed Akil, who goes down but no penalty according to the referee. Clean tackle by the skipper. Hello, my friend. Playing a game of short passes, I believe they're trying to run down the clock. I guess they're aware that there's just less than a minute left of regulation time.
Fazreen laying the ball in for Abdel. Another long ranger. Sitira Kumar goes down, touching his, clutching his face, but now the referee has seen him and will go across to the players, find out there's two minutes of added time to be played at the end of this first half. Pelicans initially going ahead through Manuel Latte before a wonderful free kick from Sachin the Madurang, Madu, Maduranga pulled Ratnam back into the game which is where we stand at the moment the end of regulation time at, in the first half Godfrey this time on the ball asking his players to move about create a connection that will ensure a goal scoring opportunity for themselves Henry Appiah also waved forward by Godfrey oh, his free kick is uh, not the best as Omad Sapri A wild attempt. So that passage of play is eventually brought to a close with Sobikaran caught out offside. Aman Pfizer. Anil Shanta. Is that pass from Farsad blocked away by Metahan before it reached the feet of Emmanuel Latte? And that will be that for the first half here at the Sukhadasa Stadium between Ratnam and Pelicans. As the story of the first half is that it's that man's goal, Sajin the Maduranga, that has drawn Ratnam level. After Emmanuel Latte put Pelicans into the lead, we'll go in for a short commercial break and do join us again in 15 or so minutes for the second half live and exclusive on the papere.com. ගියන්නේ <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Reda Puat Singhalin. www.thepapare.com web badu vietu pif sila Singhal bahasa wa thora gan. Cricket, Rugby, Papandu, Volleyball, Malala Krida, Pasipandu with Rakhnimi, Venak Krida saha Visheshangali Pivunath, The Papare Singhali Tulin. Ay, ape video pito, Krida vaha sambandha dhahasakutte kak video, sammukha saa kaccha. Ewa gema SEDC, Rugby PTA, PTA kata, Sports Masala vaghi satipata janapriya Visheshangal arban. Obe pariganake, tab beke. Ehmatna kam smartphone ke labaga na ubbata lesi inma pulua. The Papare Singhali, Krida puat digitali karane. ஒளிபரப்பும் <laughs> ஒளிபரப்பும் <laughs> 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 Thank you.
நேரடி ஒளிபரப்பு யாழ்ப்பாணத்தில் மாத்திர கொட்டவில் கம்பியசட அவிலதி சிவதாஸ் அட் மோர் டு ஏகம மஹிந்த ராஜ்பக் கிடாங்க கிழக்கு மாகாணம் சுகததாஸ் இன்டோர் ஸ்டேடியம் இஸ் தி ஃபாக்ஸ் ஹில் சூப்பர் கிராஸ்
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Papare.com's live and exclusive coverage of the Dialogue Champions League 2018-19. As you're joining us for the second half of this week 13 clash between Ratna Messi and Pelicans. One team, newly promoted, has done very well for themselves. However, they're facing a tough challenge from Pelicans who are in the relegation battle on 11 points and the news from the fixtures around them is that they will really need to pick up a point here if they are to boost their chances of survival in the top flight java lane leading solid 2-0 at half time and nigamba youth up 2-1 against defenders Two results that will certainly affect their chances of survival if they are to go home without a point here today. Pelicans really hoping for a miracle this evening, but they do have a well experienced coach, Isru Pereira, famously known as Bunty, to guide them. So we'll just have to see what Pelican has to offer. As you mentioned earlier, Ratnami is the team known for its defense. It'll be a tough wall to break down, but Pelicans looking strong this evening. Yes, Dinit, what must be said is that the Ratnam goal came from a dead ball situation, whereas from open play, they really didn't create too much in terms of chances, whereas Pelicans have created from open play and uh, their goal scorer Latte has been a big threat on the counter as well and if they can get him to link up with Godfred in midfield they may be able to find some joy against this Ratnam defence Back and forth the ball goes as uh, both teams struggle to gain possession. Ratnam seem to draw it onto their favour but moves on to a throw in for the Pelicans. So, uh, there's a foul throw by Sulakshan. Foul throws at this stage is just not something you'd really like to see. It's a Premier League. Well experienced players. Late does well to pick up Farzad, who can't quite pick his man in the middle. Anil Shanta was making the move to the middle. Again, another throw for the Pelicans. Throw once away, once again given Pelicans' way. Lovely turn by Anil Shanta. This cross into the middle, cut out by Nuskan. First corner of the second half has come Pelican's way. That corner is uh, very wide towards Sapri. Oman Faisal, lovely ball over the top as uh, here's Mohamed Akil. Taken out, penalty kick awarded to Ratnam. Mohamed Akil relieved by the call given out by the referee. There was a bit of commotion, a slight argument, but a very good call on the referee's hands. Yes, Kumar Singh, the player who went 
charging in and he thought that it would not be a straightforward finish i thought he maybe took too much time on that but now it's been taken out of his hands and it'll be abdel who will have to convert this penalty kick for ratnam to take the lead between him and the goal Nathriel Sous had a decent game. He's made one good save so far. Had no chance with the first goal with that free kick. Now he finds himself one on one with Abdel. And he went the right way. But there was no stopping that penalty. Very good penalty into the corner of the net. As Ratnam take the lead. The first goal for the Pelicans was a stroke of luck, but their win is slightly held back now by the recent goal scored by Abdel for Ratnam. I'm starting to see a bit of disorganization when it comes down to the Pelicans offense. Previous plays they tried to capitalize on. It was shown quite well. Not really sure what strategy Coach Bunty is looking to play here. So I think they lost a bit of their defensive focus as uh, they were caught out completely by that wonderful lofted ball by Aman Faiza as a uh, run in towards Latte. Fazreen comes and gathers, punches away rather, as Henry Apia. Eventually plays it back to Nathrails. Took a lot of time on that before passing it out to Eganayaka. It's these little mistakes that the Pelicans could have capitalized on. Ratnam Brother. Aman Faiza and Sasanka Dilhar on two different wavelengths on that occasion. Thought he'd go one way, but Dilhara going the other. Long ball towards Latte, who wasn't quite sure how to about that one maybe if he had committed to continue going forward could have put some pressure on Fazreen Pelicans now with a job on their hands Ratnam though now that they are in the lead they could go to their defensive pattern which other teams have really struggled to break down. Even though Pelicans do lack accuracy, Ashwin, uh, one thing they do is they move the ball about quite well. Their passing game is quite strong. So they might use it to maybe perhaps outsmart the Ratnam players. So they need to just hold on to the ball a bit longer than that as uh, the ambitious pass from Godfred gets picked off by the Ratnam defense. And Riapia standing over it. Sapri. Farhat. 
throw in Pelicans. Surakshan cross didn't quite reach the middle. Sasanka Dilhara trying to release Sidhirakuma. Cut off by Apia. Ekanayaka gets past one and two but can't get past the third. Sasanka Dilhara cross not directed well enough as Pelicans on the counter. Godfrey dispossessed as Ratnam have it once again. The tempo of the game has picked up slightly with Pelicans having a bit more urgency when on the ball. Zaman Pfizer is fouled there for a small break in the play. For both teams to get there, get a small breather in. Aman Pfizer selling his fouls quite well, drawing in the referee's whistle. Eventually granting Ratnam key free kicks and penalties. Dilhara Chaisekara on the ball. Crossing a bit too wide. Nathriel's unfaced by that attempt. It's a poor, poor pass by Metahan as Anil Shanta and Latte not quite linking up with each other. There seems to be a lot of miscommunication on Pelican's mind this evening. They're not really reading the players that well. They seem to be kicking in whatever that reaches their feet. Sapri, some fancy footwork. Godfred loses out to Abdel. Tries to play through Sasanka Dilhara, but Sulakshan plays the ball away. Chance for a counter here. It's Pelicans. Overrun it slightly. Sasanka Dilhara. It's a good cross in, but no one there in the middle. Ekanayaka. Tries to play Anil Shanta. But. Uh, Able to pick out that pass. Pelicans have won the ball back. Not for long. There was a two against situation, two against four situation there for Pelicans. They couldn't have outplayed that. As Abdel moves the ball in favor of uh, Ratnam. Pelicans defense getting their feet on that one as they dodge the ball off the right end of the field. Sachinta with a shot throw in. Well read on to Dilara Jaisekara. Hustling with the ball. A touch too many there by Dilara Jaisekara. Instead of hogging onto the ball and playing about on fancy footwork, he could have read his men better. Musharraf was quite open. Yeah, 
Here's Latte. Lost his balance slightly, which hindered the counter attack. Plays it back as Pelicans change direction. Ball towards Latte. It goes through to him this time. The flag raised for offside. Ratnam take the free kick quickly. So Sankar Dilhara controlling the ball quite well. This time reading his men better compared to the last row we saw. Ricocheting off the referee. Anil Shanta on that occasion can't quite thread a through ball through to a teammate. Come on. Link over the top for Sidhira Kumar. Who's offside? Pelicans also reading their first substitution of the game. And it's going to be Manoj Pushparaj. To come in and replace Karuna Singh. First touch, not the most flattering for Manoj. Your selection. Back to Sapri. Changes direction. So we got him this time with the ball with a cross in two. That was a close one there. Nasty collision there between Fazrin and Latte. Fazrin has stayed down. The goalkeeper after gathering the ball collided with the strong man up front. I believe it was Latte's knee that connected with uh, the goalkeeper's abdomen. While uh, Fazrin receives some treatment, let me remind you about advertising on the papata.com. If you want your brand to be recognized on any of our content, you can uh, contact us on 0777 or drop us an email at dinuk.paskaran at dialogue.lk for all your advertising requirements. Fazrin looks okay to continue. Fazrin's injury certainly gave a break to players of both teams to refresh themselves up a bit and get back in the game. Perhaps re-strategize and uh, take a better approach. Free kick given Pelican's way. There's another free kick here as the two number 14s collide. Muhammad Akil and Sapri.
Sapre with a good ball in. It's crossed to the middle and it's cleared off the line by Nuskan. That was definitely a close one. Pelicans playing a very smart play there. Sobikaran certainly thought for all money that he had scored, but last ditch intervention from Mohamed Nuskan keeps the score at 2 1 in favor of Ratnam. Corner kick into another dangerous area. Cleared away, but only partially so. Manoj's cross put out for a throw in. Ekanayaka. Sobikaran. This time with his left. Uh, he's left it for Godred. Godfred. As, uh, Nasreen panicking slightly. Here's Mohamed Akil. Over the top of Sasangadi Lara to finish it surely, but drags his shot wide. That could have been the final nail in the Pelicans' coffin, but the Sri Lanka cap winger just can't direct his shot goalwards. Manoj, fair too much on that. As it goes out for a goal kick. Both Farhat and Godfred very unhappy about the decision made there. But looking to make amends. Godfred setting up Latte. On a platter, but unfortunately couldn't keep his effort down. It was a wonderful pass by Godfrey, completely fooled the defense. He faked to shoot, but picked out the forward who was, has already got on the score sheet. But Latte, unfortunately, can't direct his effort goalwards to get Pelicans back into the game. But they look uh, like they're getting close. To that equalizer as on that occasion. Akil caught offside. Fans very unhappy about the referee's poor, perhaps poor decision there, not calling on the offside. Pelicans on the attack once again. Shot didn't have much power. Or oh, proper angle to cause trouble to Sachinta. I'm sorry, Fazreen. Farhat, Anil Shanta, Shobhikaran gets around his defender. Cross in. Here's Godfred. Fixed to shoot, went down, claiming there's contact, but nothing given in favor of Kobina Godfred, and it'll just be a corner kick for the Pelicans. There's quite a lot of commotion regarding the referee's judgment this evening. Not just the main refs, but the three others as well. The referee on that occasion slightly behind the play. Which is why some of the players were a bit upset with the decision. But you can't let mistakes like that build up, especially on a league of this level, Ashwin. The referees must be 
very accurate in calling the place. And the substitute is about to get substituted, Nimanta Madhushan, who came on in the first half for Pradeep, is uh, now replaced by Mohamed Musni. Pelicans with the corner kick uh, too deep. Musni gets the clearance away and he the decision for the referee as Sulakshan goes in with his hands up, pushing the Ratnam defender from behind. Less than 20 minutes of uh, regulation time left. It's still anyone's game at this point. Pelican saw quite a few open opportunities. And you don't really get that many open, wide open goal scoring chances with a defense such as the Ratnams. Pelicans once again unable to get a hold of the ball. Kanaika was caught there, but let's put the ball out for a throw in. To be the skipper Sachinta with the throw in. Straight off the field once again. As the ball switches, I believe that was, was it a foul throw in or? The ball was thrown out of play, it didn't enter the pitch, which is why he has to retake it. As uh, Kobina Godfrey pays it to Latte. And it's, uh, he's taken out there on the edge of the box and Maduranga gets a free kick, gets a yellow card to his name. And the Pelicans get a free kick. Maduranga with a run of despera desperation. Trying to take one for the team. However, the knock a little too hard. Getting a yellow card under his name. was from this sort of range that Maduranga drew Ratnam level in the first half. Pelicans desperately need some sort of quality from this free kick. If they are to find an equalizer. Pelicans are on death row in this league at the moment. This goal could definitely settle things for them. So it's fair for them to take their time, plan it out well. It will be a decisive goal if made. Four men marking the ball. Who will it be? Uh, not the greatest of free kicks by Kabina Gottfried, but here's Sapri to try and salvage something from it. 
work down the line and uh, Ekanayak uh, taken out. As Ekanayak uh, requires some treatment and uh, Periyasami Siddharakuma goes into the book. I believe after the previous arguments the players had with the referees this time they are being very strong on their calls immediately retorting to cards rather than warnings and to be fair that was a pretty terrible tackle as well it was very late he knew he'd overran the ball and it was a desperate attempt to try and make amends and fouling the player in the process Ratnam get it clear. Ekanayaka first to it. Puts the ball out to touch. Ratnam skipper with the ball once again. Short pass off the left corner. Two Pelicans marking the striker. And the ball moves out in favor of the Pelicans. One of the Ratnam players coming back from an offside position. Uh, stake from Sidra Kumar, but he fouled the, fouled the defender in the process. Mitahan puts the ball out for a throw. Pelicans need something fast. It's a good ball in. Latte can't quite get up to it. Fazrin comes and gathers. I believe that corner was intended for Latte, but it was Farhat to intercept it. And the Pelicans trying to Keep the ball on Ratnam's end of the field. However, Ratnam on the strike once again. Sasanka so Dilhara trying a cute little pass to set up his forward, but unable to complete it. Henry Apia getting in the way. Sasanka so Dilhara on the run seems to be a very inaccurate player. We've seen him missing quite a few critical passes as well as goal capitalizing chances so it would be best if uh, Sasanka could take some time understand his mistake and then move into a better state of play Natri is choosing to go for a short pass. Pelicans in possession. Ratna Messi staying true to their defensive name, marking their men quite well, reading their passes.
around 11 minutes plus injury time to be played in this match Pelicans desperately needing another goal they've squandered a few in this second half especially the one a few minutes ago the free kick just on the edge of the box shooting straight at the wall Henry up here choosing to stay behind as a safety man is quite a wise form of strategy Pelicans are playing but Apia is a man that could be used up front he has enough speed and power to put up with uh, the Ratnam's defense Sasaka Dilara with the ball. Read his man well, but it was intercepted by Apia. Sasanka once again. To Periyasami. Pelicans defense hustling for the ball. And that'll be a free kick granted in favor of Ratnam. Sasanga Dilara trying for a shot at glory, but it's Apia that gets hit in the abdomen. gets a corner that was a clear opener for Aman Pfizer but Henry Apia holding on to his abdomen runs towards the ball be Sasanka Dilara taking the corner for Ratna Messi That's the skipper of Ratnam doing poorly on that strike. Sasanka Dilhara on a run once again to keep the ball in play. And another corner awarded to Ratna Messi as Sasanka Dilhara gets another opportunity of perhaps scoring the third goal for his team. Will he read his men right? He does have up there up front. So Sanka is straight on to the hands of Natriels. As the Pelicans move on to an offensive strike. It's a three against five situation. An opener created but the goalkeeper Fazrin clashing on to the Pelican offense. And that will be a corner awarded to Pelicans. Anil Shant on the ball, 
well read cross seen Henry Apia failing to capitalize on that cross in with less than 7 minutes of regulation time left it's about time the pelicans offense picked up their game quick substitution for ratna messi as the skipper comes off It's Mohammed Sajid that comes in place of uh, the skipper of Ratnam, Sachin Tha. Dilara Jayasekar once again in possession. typical fancy footwork by dilara as he loses the ball but abdel going for a long range that was quite a close call for natrils right off the upper post of the goal is uh, abdel hulibali finding akelia zaman near the byline gets a corner time ticking away fast from pelicans they need a Goal at least to rescue a point from this match. They were leading this match one nil before Ratnam stage. They come back. Okay, the corner. And Apia now brings it forward. Pelicans continuing play. We've seen quite a few high strikes by this goalkeeper, Fazreen. I believe that's his way of letting his teammates take some time to organize themselves as uh, Pelicans move on to another offensive attack which is dodged off by the Ratnam's defense it's still Pelicans ball however this time the throw in will be awarded in favor of ratnam apia gets his foot on it come 
couldn't really connect with this man as uh, Ratna moves in for a strike. There you go, Akhil seals the game for Ratnam. Makes it 3 1 in the 90th minute. Once again, a defensive lapse for Pelicans, loving Akhil. Mohamed Akhil, the man. He was at the right place at the right time, capitalizing on that pass. Well read by Mohamed Akhil. As he managed to phase off Nathriels and score the third goal for Ratnam. Pelicans definitely have more weight on their shoulders. Henry Apia connects. But it's Ratna Messi who retained the ball this time. Both teams, I believe, are aware that they are almost out of time, picking up the pace of the game. Pelicans for a long range cross in. The ball is still in the danger zone. But the defense marking their men well. Ratnam SC This could be another chance for the Pelicans dodged off by the goalkeeper Ratnam's defensive wall holding strong Apia challenged by Peri Asami. As the Pelicans look to make amends at least this time, however, it's Ratnam who gained possession of the ball. Both teams putting in maximum effort to hold on to the ball. Ratnam trying to run the clock and Pelicans on a full-on striking mission. Sasanka Dilara with the ball, passes it on. And that was well read by Natriyas as he palmed the ball straight off the crossbar. Musni played with his accuracy there for Ratnam, but Fasriyuts was quick to judge that. That could have been an open close for Ratnam, and it's Henry Apia who gets his foot on the ball, moving the ball out of the danger zone, but Ratnam still on their toes. Perhaps one final throw in awarded to the Pelicans. Ball switches hands as it's Ratnam's turn for a throw in and it's Apia who moves the ball off but they managed to outsmart the Ratnam defense slightly but Ratnam moving the ball in their favor once again Pelicans managed to get their foot in but for only a brief time
Pelicans on a striking course once again, but they could be able to break the walls. But the Ratnam defense staying true. Ball passed on to Sasangadil Ara and Apiani still dodges it off to Natriels. And Natriels moves the ball as the game comes to a conclusion. Ratnam winning the match 3 to 1. Pelicans really needed a couple of more goals to secure their position in this league but failed to do so. They are in the danger zone. However, Ratnam comfortably leading the match and finishing it off just the same. As the score stands 3 to 1 and we conclude the match. Ratnam now keeping up pace with the championship contenders with this 3-1 uh, win. Once again, another long week here for Pelicans. Another loss for the lads from Kurunagala. We welcome you to join in on, on our next match that will kick off at 6 p.m between Renown SC and Supersan SC here at the Sukhasda Stadium live on Sri Lanka's number one sports of the Papra.com. Until then, this is me, Navod Vijay Vikrama, on behalf of Ashwin Das, Dinit Sena Ratna, the production and the technical crew, signing off for the Papra.com, sharing the passion. <laughs>